In this video, I'm gonna be going over some of my hot takes with regards to AI. Some of this stuff is gonna stir the pot. You might disagree with me and you might think I'm dumb. And honestly, you're probably right. I'm a random guy on the internet, but just hear me out. This is all for fun. And who knows, maybe I'll change your mind. But also if I don't, I don't really care because I'm just doing this for fun. Hot take number one is the fact that for 99.999% of developers out there in the world, it does not matter which model you use and all the benchmarks out there of what is the best performing model does not really matter or apply to you. And the reason for this is because the vast majority majority of developers out there are not even building anything nearly technically complex where it warrants these really crazy high performing benchmarks. It is not that deep. LLMs are just going to become a commodity that people are just going to use. And the differences are going to be so, so minuscule. I think there's way too many people on like the subreddit and tech Twitter, tech X, whatever you want to call it that are like, oh my God, open AI 03 just changed the game. It blew the benchmarks in these various tests. But like, come on, like be for real, like be dead ass with me. Do you really care about those benchmarks? No, it's not really going to affect your workflow. It's not really going to affect how you use AI or how the AI is going to spin out certain outputs for the various apps that you're building. I mean, if we're really being honest, the vast majority of developers out there that are talking about the crazy benchmarks and what's the best model versus the other one, you're not really going to be using it in a production use case because you're not going to be building your own apps with these models. That's just the fact. Vast majority of developers, they will start a side project and it's just going to be left as a GitHub readme repo for the rest of its life in eternity. I really do think people are over indexing on what is the best model hopping between model to model just because their favorite tech or Twitter influencer talks about how it is the best performing model out there. But I just feel like there's so much noise out there with certain tests saying one model is better than the other. I don't think it's that deep. Once again, I do believe LLMs are kind of just going to become a commodity and really which model you end up choosing to use is not going to affect the performance of your apps all that much. I personally use Google Gemini. Do I think it's the best model out there? Probably not. At least from all the reports that I see out there, there are other models that perform a lot better, but I don't know. I'm too lazy to change it. And I think the output are good enough because I'm just realistic about it. The outputs of the vast majorities of these LLMs are good enough for any app that you're building and for most use cases, except for like the 0.01% of people that are actually doing incredibly deep, complex work that need the state of the art best models out there. Hot take number two is the fact that OpenAI and Anthropic in 2025 will no longer be the best AI providers out there in the market. And Meta, X, and Google are going to leapfrog them and take them as the number one spot for the best AI models and best AI providers out there. There. The reason why I think this is because when you look go back to when DeepSeek first came out, that was the first time a model came out for pretty cheap where it really showed there is no moat out there. There's truly no compute moat and there's hardly a data moat. And I think the only moat that can actually be considered a moat is a data moat. Oh my God, moat doesn't even sound like a real word to me anymore because I just said it like 50 billion times in the past 10 seconds. But I do believe data is going to be the biggest moat any LLM model is going to have. And at the end of the day, who has the best data? It's going to be Google. It's going to be X. It's going to be Meta, not OpenAI, not Anthropic. They don't have any proprietary data that they can use, whereas Meta, Google, and X, they certainly do. So don't get me wrong, OpenAI and Anthropic are still going to have the best models out there, but they've kind of been the front runners over the past year or two with regards to AI. But now the legacy players of Meta X and Google, they're going to leapfrog them just because they have the best, highest quality real time data. And my crazy, crazy hot take from this is the fact that I actually think X is going to be the best models out there, or at least one of the top models out there, just because they have so much real time data coming in, like real time news on Twitter on X, and then Meta is going to be second place. All right. Hot take number three is that the biggest winner of all of this AI LLM wars is going to be Apple. Now, you're gonna be like, wait a minute, did Apple come out with a model? How are they gonna win? No, they did not come out with a model and precisely why they are going to win. If you look at the past two years, almost every other really major big tech company has poured billions of dollars to train their own foundational model, whereas Apple was just like, yo, whoa, whoa, everybody chill, pause, let's wait. And in the most Apple fashion, they didn't jump in on the hype and instead they waited it out to see what's gonna end up happening. And originally people thought like, it's only gonna be the biggest tech companies out there in the world that have the compute power as well as the database to actually train these foundational models because they're so expensive. But then Deep Sea came out and everyone was like, oh God what just happened? It totally upended the tech market in the US. Now, obviously, DeepSeek is a source of contention right now. People say that DeepSeek's training is not actually valid for the cost that they put in. But you know, under the assumption that it's true that they really did train it for very, very cheap, I think Apple's going to come out as the biggest winner because I do believe that DeepSeek's release of a really cheaply trained model is going showed that there is no moat with regards to LLMs has become a commodity in the developer space. Storage is dirt cheap and LLMs are going to become such a commodity that I think they're going to be so efficient 
efficient to run and so powerful that Apple will be able to just have a full blown LLM running on their device and not have to rely on any cloud provider because right now they do rely on OpenAI as their cloud provider for the AI when they have to. But I do believe that way that DeepSea came out and the current trend of where it's going to go. And as AI follows the trend of becoming cheaper and cheaper to train, cheaper and cheaper to use with compute power, AI model is going to live on the phone. And once again, the biggest winners of AI is not going to be the model themselves, but it's going to be the consumer applications that they are going to bring about. And the biggest player, the biggest winner, the biggest competitor in the consumer space is obviously Apple. So I do think Apple is going to be one of the biggest winners, if not the biggest winner of this whole AI. Hot take number four is the fact that everything will become an AI rapper moving forward. I think right now it's a meme where someone releases a SaaS tool and people are like, bro, that's just a chat GPT rapper. Bro. Like, okay, but yo, why don't you say anything about things being a storage rapper? Why don't you say things about things being a stupid JavaScript rapper or like a crud rapper? Like, it's not that deep. Like, LLMs are not all that different. It's just another API that you're using. And I think people have memed AI rappers in the past, but I think moving forward, AI rappers are really going to be the only business that's going to exist in the world moving forward. Like, the AI rapper race has really just begun. And honestly, within the next year or two, the term AI rapper is probably going to disappear because AI is just going to be such a fundamental part of any type of software that we build. It's going to be similar to storage. So the AI rapper term, it's going to disappear and literally everything is going to have AI in it. So if you want to build a SaaS tool, you should get on it right now because it's still pretty early to start getting AI rapper tools out there on your own. All right. So my last hot take of the day is the fact that software engineering is not going to die out in the end because of AI. I think there are going to be significantly less software engineers per company because essentially each software engineer's output is going to like 10x overnight. So each company itself is going to require a lot less software engineers to get their work done and build products. But I do think AI is going to bring out way more software companies than we have ever seen before. So that is where the deficit of software engineers in one company is going to be made up. And then a lot more companies are going to hire one or two software engineers to run their entire software team and their entire software division. I really don't think software engineering is going to die out. Instead, the expectations are going to shift where individuals are going to have more output and the vast majority of their code output is not even going to be written by them. Instead, it's just going to be written by AI and then it's going to be reviewed by a human. All right. So that is my quick little hot take session of AI, the state of AI in 2025. Let me know where you agree or disagree with me in the comments down below. If you want to insult me because you think I'm an absolute idiot and my takes are horrible, let me know as well. Give me your best roast in the comments down below. But thanks for watching today's video and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.